What is up everyone? This is Anonymous Mentor again. I just made this video a while ago. It's about 10 minutes long and that's not a problem. The problem is that for some reason when I was recording my mic just cut out or it didn't process actually whenever it was uh, encoding. So anyways, what we're going to talk about today is uh, what I believe is called the in interpreter and it's used uh, by declaring it with the hash symbol and define. Uh, let's go ahead and actually make our program. So sudo nano main.cpp. You can use get it or whatever you're familiar with. I'm going to use nano. Let's go ahead and use the uh, include IO stream and start using namespace std and this will give us the uh, cn and cout commands uh, now the way you define something is with the interpreter is the hash symbol define and then you would put what you want it to be called. Basically the variable comes next. So you could say A it has to be at least two characters long. So we could say ABC and then we'll say ABC equals one, two, three. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start up our main function. And what we'll do here is Whoa, I hate my tab button, it gets stuck. Old keyboard. Alright, so now we're going to do a C out command. And in C out, we're going to say uh, ABC is equal to, and then C out ABC. And let's also do a C out and uh, in line to give us a break and hop on over to another line. Now we see we have that G. We have our main CPP. We need to write it out to main. Uh, you got to do this as sudo super user status and that work and let's go ahead and run that main my tab button got stuck again and it says ABC is equal to and then we called on ABC right here and it printed out one two three because it's equal to one two three now what this is good for is uh, Given, we'll give two examples. We'll say number define algo num and I missed an E there. And then up here we'll say um, let's see Uh, people in US and then we'll say uh, I don't know I'm just going to make up a number uh, 1,893,742 one, one that's just a random number I popped up um, and then what this does is um, it helps to define the number that you're talking about because say you wanted to say you had a program where it's like uh, you want to you want to print this out a lot see out and then you want to print out one eight nine three seven four two because that's how many people are in the US 
and so you got to call on that a lot instead of um, typing that number out so much you can just say people underscore in underscore us and this or you don't even put it in quotes what this does it helps people that don't know your code to understand what it means they'll know that this right here stands for however many people's in the US versus them looking at a number that they have no idea what it is they're looking at one eight nine three seven four two and they they have no I they have no idea what it means unless they go back and trace uh, trace where you first put it in and maybe see a comment you know like maybe you have it stored in an integer it's x equals one eight nine three seven four two and then you say people in the US instead of doing that and defining X everywhere you can just put people in US and people will understand what that means right away now the second thing is uh, if you have like a number that you have to call on a lot say you have like a, a uh, bunch of like a huge algorithm going on like a mathematical uh, program and you have like an add function and you need that number for like your uh, like like an algorithm or something one two two seven four and then you need like a subtraction program and it uses it with like minus like whatever numbers and then square like tab button square root and it uses it and multiplies by whatever number I mean this is just for instance uh, now say something went wrong and you're out like your algorithms not right and you need to change the number up what you could do is instead of if you hadn't declared these like this before and you declared it as algo underscore num algo underscore num if you declare it like this the first time around it saves a lot of work because say all you had to do is change that number to a five now all these down here are changed instantly as soon as you compile the code instead of going through and changing each one one by one so it helps to basically uh, let people understand what your code uh, is saying and to save you a lot of work if you have to switch a number out randomly like say this is like define trip cost or define uh, price of cars and then say the average price of cars is $355 well tomorrow or a week later it may have went up in value and you need to change everything in your algorithm at once and you can just simply do that by changing that number and instantaneously all the all the other numbers behind it change so uh, this is how you use the interpreter and uh, the hash sign define to uh, help make your code better and for people to understand it and to save you a lot of work if something goes wrong so or to just be able to switch your stuff up and this has been Anonymous Mentor. If you have any questions, comment. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can. And uh, follow my channel. Alright.